Forces aren't fundamental. The electromagnetic force, the strong nuclear force, the weak nuclear force, they're not just forces, they're interactions. According to our most accurate models of the universe, the dynamics of the microscopic world are defined not by pushes and pulls, but by different fields interacting with each other by overlapping. And this isn't just a semantic point. To use the word force implies just that quantum field theory is just the quantum theory of pushes and pulls, but it's so much more than that. The most classical of the forces, electromagnetism, arises naturally from quantum electrodynamics. This quantum field theory describes the interaction between electrically charged particles and photons. In particular, a charged particle can emit a photon or absorb a photon, a particle and its antiparticle can combine to become a photon, or a photon can split into a particle and its antiparticle. And the only time it looks like a force is during absorption or emission. In that case, it can look something like a push or a pull. But all of these phenomena can be described uniformly by recognizing that this is just a three-particle interaction taking place. Two particles go in, one particle goes out, or vice versa. And it gets weirder if you look at the other forces. The force-carrying particles for the strong and weak forces can also self-interact. This means that if we view these quantum interactions as forces, then the forces could literally push and pull on themselves and be pushed and pulled by other forces. And that's obviously nonsense. And there's more. While the weak and strong forces have three particle interactions like electromagnetism, they also have four particle interactions, which can't be thought of classically at all. A classical force can be thought of as a particle absorbing or giving off a force, which is naturally described by three particle interactions. But there is no such intuition for four particle interactions because they only happen between force carrying particles. And they're completely distinct from just two sequential three particle interactions. It's like an action, reaction, and re-reaction or something. Now these strange additional interaction types happen for the strong and weak forces, but not electromagnetism because they're what are called non-abelian gauge interactions, whereas electromagnetism is an abelian gauge interaction. Essentially, this means that photons don't have electromagnetic charge, but the force carrying particles for the weak and strong forces do carry their own charge. And aside from just this general behavior that all non-abelian gauge theories have, the weak interaction can cause particle transmutation. The three particle interactions with the W boson, which is one of the weak force particles, have three different particle types. For example, an electron can emit a W boson and then turn into a neutrino. This happens because the weak force is, partially, mediated by bosons that have both mass and charge. And because the strong interaction is so strong, it can form composite particles, called glue balls, made entirely of force, which is even weirder. And that makes no sense under a force-first view of the world. Hopefully at this point, I've made it clear that a force is only one kind of fundamental interaction. And in some sense, it's the least interesting. And don't even get me started on gravity. The weak. To use the word force implies that just. In particular, a charged particle can emit a photon or absorb a photon. Hopefully by this point, I think of...